What's up everyone and today I'm bringing you another wrestling prediction video. We have AEW Double or Nothing coming and yes it's today and I got the fight card right here and I'm going to tell you the winners who I think is going to win. So my prediction video basically today letting you know who I think is going to win for Double or Nothing. So let's see if I could pick some good winners tonight. Let's do it. Let's stick to this video and please let me know down below in the comment section who are your picks to win at the pay-per-view tonight. I know Double or Nothing, this is kind of a stacked card. We got a really legit card, a lot of singles matches, but some really cool multi-man matches as well. So let's do this. Roll it. So yes, as it stands right now in terms of wrestling content, AEW is still the one that I highly prefer in terms of the weekly content and shows and pay-per-views. I'm just, I'm highly enjoying AEW at the moment right now more than WWE right now. Let's talk about who I think is going to win for AEW Double or Nothing. And yes, we got some really cool, like I said, a stacked card, a lot of fun matches going on. So let's start off with one that just got announced recently. This one just popped off that it just got added to the show. This is probably going to be on the, like, you know, kind of like setup show or the pre hype show thing. It's Death Triangle going against Bullet Club Gold for the trio's titles. And in this one, I'm actually going to be picking death triangle i basically for this one that's just because they brought pack back from a major injury and pack is a huge favorite a huge fan favorite and to have him teaming up with his old lucha brothers you know forming death triangle again they already brought pack back and he lost to okada for a title match i really don't think they're gonna have pack challenge for another title like a trios titles thing and like another set of titles and lose again so that would be just kind of weird so i really think death triangle is going to take the win over bullet club gold in this one next up we have a match that has a huge vendetta going on and we have orange cassidy versus trent beretta and mainly because they're best friends for many many years about four or five years going on chuck taylor got injured now trent beretta and orange cassidy like i said they have this huge vendetta going on don Callis is kind of whispering in orange cassidy's ear maybe are we going to get orange cassidy getting a heel turn we don't know but in this one i'm going orange cassidy for the win i think orange cassidy is going to beat trent beretta and i think he's going to kind of lean more into the don Callis family going to be kind of a heel character and i'm interested to see how orange cassidy is really going to work this new chapter of his persona and his gimmick next up we have john moxley fighting kanosuke Takeshita, and this is a uh, eliminator match for the new japan title so this is a fun one like i actually wanted this just to be for the title playing on out but when i thought of it being an eliminator match it's kind of a good idea because this gives them the option of having Takeshita beat john moxley on a pay-per-view here at double or nothing and then able to challenge for the title he doesn't even have to challenge john moxley this just gives Takeshita the opportunity to challenge for the title later down the line at any moment so that's kind of cool it's kind of like a money in the bank thing a little bit but i think that actually means that Takeshita is gonna beat john moxley today even though like I said it's not it's not for the title it's just an eliminator match so that's why I think it's, you know, they kind of left that open. And I think he's going to take the win over John Moxley, which hurts my heart because, like I said, John Moxley is my favorite AEW wrestler. If you're any, if you're new to the channel at all, just hot information. John Moxley is my favorite AEW wrestler. Next up, we have Adam Copeland going against Malachi Black. And this is going to be in a barbed wire steel cage. And this is going to be exciting because they've been really building up this feud over the past few weeks, Adam Copeland's been fighting the different members of House of Black. There's been all these kind of different vignettes and promos and all this kind of cool stuff. But I think Adam Copeland is going to get the win over Malachi Black. And I really think this is going to kind of set up the kind of tumbling and the crumbling of House of Black. And eventually they're going to separate and part ways because I love House of Black. I really do. I love their stuff. But I think... Like they are, I think eventually Malachi Black is going to have to crumble. Somebody's going to have to beat him, and I think it's going to lead in right now as Adam Copeland's going to kind of start that whole thing. So let's see. I think he's going to get the win in this barbed wire steel cage match. Next up, we have Roderick Strong defending his title against Will Ospreay, and I'm going to go Will Ospreay in this one. Yes, I think Will Ospreay is just on a hot streak. He is the major 
baby face right now and there's really nothing stopping him i really think they're going to go for giving him the title and then if they go the right way you could possibly have AEW, you know uh will osprey challenge like swerve strickland have like a title on title type match you know a lot of stuff going on but right now like i said will osprey is the hot baby face and i think roderick strong's not going to stop him so i think will's going to take the win in this match next up we have timeless tony storm defending her title against Serena Deep and I think Timeless Tony Storm is going to win. I don't think it's her time yet. I really think she is right now Tony Storm is in the best time of her career in terms of character wise, gimmick, her wrestling, all the stuff that she's putting in, the work. She's at the top tippy top right now and I don't think there's any dethroning her. So right now I think the only option later down the line she's either going to lose to the Virtuosa. I really think she's eventually going to lose to her or when Britt Baker comes back, we're going to have a Britt Baker versus Tony match and Tony will eventually lose to her. So I don't know, we'll see, but I don't think Serena Deep is going to be the one to dethrone Tony Storm. Next up, we have one of my favorite matches and what I think is probably going to be I, I, there's a possibility for other matches being the one like Takeshita and John Moxley, that's a possibility for being a match of the night. But I really think this one is going to be match of the night. And it's the Elite versus Team AEW. So this is a really big one. Anarchy in the arena. This is a big event because I think this is the fifth, fourth or fifth Anarchy in the arena we've had. And I'm going with the heels in this one. I think Okada and, you know, Jack Perry and the Elite, like all of them, I think they are going to win. Our, our EVPs, they're going to beat Team AEW in this one. So I think this is going to be an absolute bloodbath. It's going to be insane. And I really do enjoy these Anarchy in the Arena matches. These are probably second to none, my second favorite matches to like TLC matches. Now we have another major main event. And we have Willow Nightingale defending her TBS title against Mercedes Monet. And Mercedes Monet first appearance on an AEW pay-per-view in terms of actual wrestling. This is the first time we are going to see her wrestle in a w in a ring and I, I think they're gonna give mercedes the win i really don't think they're gonna bring her in and do this where she's gonna just lose to willow right there on the first pay-per-view event i think you know mercedes monet is gonna take this w and get the tbs title so yeah she's gonna take the victory and it's gonna kind of set up possibly a third rubber match because mercedes monet will have gotten the second win willow got the first win in new japan wrestling so it sets up a possibility for a third match and now for the final main event we have the aw world heavyweight title being defended and it's swerve strickland versus christian cage the father this is one that has a chance for having a huge bunch of shenanigans you know prince nana being involved you know nick wayne we have kill switch we have mama wayne there's a lot of opportunities for a lot of crazy antics in this match but i definitely think they're going to give this to swerve strickland i don't think it's swerve's time to lose we are still right right now we are in the summer of swerve this is going to be the summer of swerve so I'm so excited because I don't think this is his time to lose. For So they're going to keep this Swerve Strickland train rolling. So I think he's taking the victory over Christian Cage. And I'm very excited because Double or Nothing has the chance to be like a really popular, amazing pay-per-view. To me, AEW has been knocking out of the park when in terms of wrestling content, storylines, and pay-per-views. They are right on my alley. They are the stuff that I'm craving, that I'm wanting in my wrestling content. So please let me know down below in the comment section what do you all think of this fight card. Are you excited for all these matches? Are you having some good vibes for AEW? Do you feel like they're right now having a lot of good content for the summer right now? Because like I said, we're really having a good summer swing going into it. And a lot of stuff's going on. Like I said, we're in the prime pickings for wrestling content all around the world. There's a lot of good content for wrestling fans so please shout them out go check out all the stuff that's happening but let me know down below in the comment section what are your picks for this pay-per-view thank you for sticking around for this video please like the video that definitely helps out the channel subscribe if you're new to the channel have that notification bell poke so you're notified anytime i post a video but most importantly you all know what's up have a safe and happy day peace out